Hello, my name is Rick. Welcome to my channel. In today's guitar lesson, we're going to learn two must-know Stevie Ray Vaughan licks. <laughs> So super awesome, uh, Stevie is the man, of course. Uh, I was super lucky to get to see him once in Los Angeles, uh, around 1990, I think. Uh, yeah, amazing. He was playing with Jeff Beck, it was a cool tour. Uh, every other night they would open up for each other, so uh, amazing. So let's get right to it. Uh, the first one, start here in the seventh fret of the D string. And then this is kind of unique. You go to the uh, eighth fret on the B with your little finger. Kind of an interesting split there. And then you're going to bend the G string here. And that's just a half step bend. So the pitch of D up to E flat or uh, seven up to eight. <laughs> So you bend the note up and then you release the bend. And then you actually pull it off to the fifth fret on the G here. Next two notes, uh, seventh fret on the D, fifth fret on the G. Make sure when you play it, you go. Anyway, uh, now I'm throwing a rake in there. I'll get back to that in a minute. So then you're gonna bend the seventh fret on the G here, up a whole step to this note, <laughs> and then hit this uh, fifth fret on the high E to the fifth fret on the G. That's kind of interesting fingering wise here with your left hand. I'll say you could do that and then jump there. Sometimes I do that. Otherwise, you could also bend it up, grab kind of more of a bar here, and that way you're grabbing the high E with more like the middle part of your finger, not the fingertip. I think that's probably a better way to do it long term because the risk if you go like this and you lift up to go to this note, the fifth fret of the G. You might get kind of a residual <laughs> weird sound there. And then do some awesome yeah, vibrato at the end. <laughs> so, yeah, awesome lick. Uh, the rake there, let's see. So, I think he would do that sometimes. Um, I'll cover rakes in a different lesson, but the idea is you're basically just muting all the strings here. I would say muting with your right hand too, and kind of like in slow motion, it'd be like you're going like this, like into the note you want to go into. Uh, so in this case, I'm doing the, what is it? The seventh fret on the G, doing the rake into that note, which is interesting because you got to like back up, you know, get a mute back here. I would practice before I even do the bend, just do this, like hit the, Hit the note straight on. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just kind of a interesting, weird little feel thing at first. But uh, yeah, as long as you just mute correctly here, mute here, kind of drag your pick lightly here, or let's say medium, I guess you, well, you could even go pretty hard, I guess. <laughs> but as long as you, yeah, as long as you mute and, and all that. Uh, one little other detail here. On this part here, if you want to, I'm actually using my uh, middle finger here and just plucking. The note there, so that's optional. You don't have to do that, but I think that's a kind of a cool sound. That's lick number one. Number two. So you're going to start the seventh fret in the G here. Uh, there's another rake here, by the way. <laughs> kind of a, another Stevie sound there. So you're gonna slide seven to eight, back to seven, and then pull off to five. Then you're gonna pull off seven to five on the D string. And then, 
kind of going down the blues scale, like you kind of think of it uh, from the seventh fret on the A string, chromatic, seven, six, five. Pick all the notes. Pick all those notes. And then you're gonna grab eight on the low E to five. So descending those five notes. Uh, but there's a previous step in, or sorry, that you did pull off there. So. And then finish off with the seventh fret on the D. Again, give it some good old. Vibrato, so. Hope you enjoy. If you found this useful and you want more uh, content from me in the future, please uh, consider subscribing. That'd be fantastic. Thanks.